Thank you for tuning in to the 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole Championship Finals. The competitors in this matchup are Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association standings, versus Josh Carfielo, currently ranked fourth. This will be a rematch from their most recent meeting in the semifinal round of the World Crokinole Championships. Both highly ranked and highly skilled, this is sure to be a doozy. This game will be a race to nine points with Carfiello to shoot first. Again, this is a rematch and Carfiello won the semifinal match at the World Crokinole Championships against Hutchinson and placed second total in the Worlds. Hutchinson to shoot second and goes long. Carfiello now will see if he rolls away or pushes for another 20. Plays somewhat on his side of the 15 zone. Not sure there's a 20 there. Hutchinson goes for it though. Just a little bit far. Carfiello now in a very good position. Up a 20 with two discs on the board. Hutchinson does have hammer. But so long as Carfiello can keep his discs on. And keep any 20 opportunities away from Hutchinson. He will be in a very good spot to win this first round. Going strong with a nice takeoff. Just sticking where the disc was. Hutchinson looked like he was trying to catch that post to bounce back. But not quite enough power. Carfiello with a very nice touch 20. Doesn't get the off but he doesn't need it. Hutchinson now. Players checking, it looks like the disc is touching the outer line, which means it is out of play. Carfiello brushes that off before his next shot. Hutchinson needs to score the next two 20s for an opportunity to tie this round. Unfortunately, rolls away to the outside, and this first round will go to Carfiello, bringing the score 2-0. to zero. We see some highlights of the touch 20s that Carfiello had. Throughout this, a very nice shot. Hutchinson will open the second round. Taking his time with the shot and scoring that open 20 now in the zone. Carfiello going long. That has been a trend today. A lot of these players, there hasn't been very long 20s races, which make for very interesting matches. Carfiello now with a... Angle in opportunity, but bounces out of the center. Hutchinson, happy to hit and stick, just blocking that laneway. Carfiello pushing to get play back into the 15 region. Hutchinson, not so happy with that shot, may leave the door open for Carfiello. And right now, Hutchinson most likely trying to just keep play away from the center. And keep any opportunities away from Carfiello. Well, Carfiello will be pushing to get closer for a 20 opportunity, which he now gets. Down to a three shot game, tied in the 20s cup. Hutchinson goes long. Carfiello now in a good position with Hammer. Trying to roll away, catches a post, but. Still not a great spot for Hutchinson. Able to get it off though. Very surprised that went. Carfiello considering his options. I'm not sure if he's tempted by a 20 opportunity right now or just wants to get away. Oh! And Hutchinson disc catches a post and almost goes into the 20. Almost a large blunder near the end of this round. Hutchinson gets the off with two discs in the 15. Now, Carfiello wanted to tie this round. He could get a simple hit and stick and remove one disc. But, like most of these top players, they don't love going for ties. So, I suspect Carfiello is either trying to figure out how he can get a 20 or get one off and demote the other to at least the 10 region. Quite the interesting situation. And I'm wondering what viewers would do if they would just opt for the tie or try to go for the win here. Oh, Carfiello looked like he was lining up for the double, but didn't get the off with it. 
meaning that round goes to Hutchinson, tying the score now 2-2. Two to two. Carfiello to open this third round, coming up short. Hutchinson takes his time to consider what to do with this. He hits and sticks, leaving it in front of the center hole. Certainly not a gimme for Carfiello, but we know these top players can hit those follow-throughs, which he does. Very nice shot. A little bit of pressure on Hutchinson now to convert on this open 20, which he is able to do. Back into a 20s race now. We'll see if players have found their range. It seems as though they have. Again, these are some of the top shooters in the game. If I remember correctly, Hutchinson has a 20 conversions rate of 35% and Carfiello right around 32%. So just about a third of their shots, of all their shots, are ending up as 20s. How do you think you compare? Let us know in the comments if you think you're around that or lower or higher even. The highest that I calculated was Connor Ryman at 39.5% of his shots converted to 20s, almost a 40% conversion rate. Still tied in the 20s cup here. Down to three shots remaining. Hutchinson in a decent position, although Carfiello may be set up for a 20 here. Which he converts on with the off. Very nice shot. More pressure on Hutchinson now to score here. Which he does. We are down to a two-shot game. Oh, and Carfiello goes long. See if Hutchinson just tries to roll away here to take away any opportunity from Carfiello. Opposite hit and stick, keeping play on the far side of the 15 away from Carfiello. Works just about as well as the roll away would. And Carfiello pushing for a peg, but doesn't get it. All Hutchinson needs now is the off. We see him taking his time. This certainly isn't a gimme because he is going over the center hole. Some chance for some unpredictability there, but Hutchinson pushes it through, taking this third round, bringing the score to 4-2 to two for Hutchinson. See that nice follow through from Carfiello, another angle in, but Hutchinson was relentless on the open 20s. Hutchinson to open this fourth round. Seems that Hutchinson has pretty much found his range. Let's see if Carfiello is able to keep up the pace as well. This is a very close back and forth match, very similar to a match at the World Crokinole Championship semifinals. Carfiello unable to convert on that backboard 20. Now, there seems to be a mistake on the scoreboard. Carfiello does not have 320s, although it looks like he is about to, and he does. All is good. The scoreboard is now right. <laughs> Up in the 20s and with Hammer, Carfiello is in a very nice position right now, so long as he can keep the pressure on. Even if he misses an open 20, as long as he doesn't set up Hutchinson, this is a great spot to be in. Both players going back and forth in the 20s, and Hutchinson the first to miss. Carfiello down to his last two shots, opts to roll out, landing almost between the posts. Not a lot for Hutchinson to work with, but man, goes for a Peggy Sue, bouncing all around the 15, but Carfiello converts on yet another 20. Tying up the score yet again, 4-4, four to four, just back and forth on these rounds. See a lot of very nice shots from Carfiello here. As we go into the fifth round of this finals match, seems like Carfiello has totally found his 20s range now. Shaking out some of those early on mistakes. See if Hutchinson can keep up with the pressure. And Carfiello, the first to come up short. Bit of a heavy hanger here for Hutchinson. See if he's able to convert. Unable to convert, but doesn't seem too upset with that shot. 
he rolled to between the right side lane. This is a tough push through for Carfiello to get play back to the center. Hutchinson pushes it again, leaving it right in the middle of that laneway. Not impossible to follow through here, but again, follow throughs are very difficult. So, bit of post action there, but Carfiello manages to push closer to the center. Doesn't look like Hutchinson's too set up for a 20 here. And that might be the opportunity that Carfiello was waiting for. Might be a nice touch 20 here. Oh, and comes up short. Doesn't get the off with it either. Hutchinson may not be looking for the 20 here necessarily. He seems to be considering his options. And given his angle, I'm guessing he's looking to roll away. Chooses to peel. I believe that was intentional. Yep, because it forces Carfiel to peel. Now Hutchinson, if he can score an open 20 here, will be in a great position. We're down to the last three shots comes up short Carfiello can convert on this backboard 20 there'll be a lot of pressure on Hutchinson to score his final shot which he does Hutchinson will be looking to get the tie here doesn't want to give up two points needs at least to split this round and he does it very impressive to see players hit 20s under pressure, which Hutchinson did there. Splitting the round, bringing the score 5-5, five to five, still neck and neck for both players. Hutchinson now to open this round. And he goes long. Very uncharacteristic. We've seen him short, not a lot of long. And Carfiello content to just hit and stick. Hutchinson trying to bring play back, but... And oh! Carfiello caught the center hole, bit of bounce, and both discs still in the 15. Carfiello's disc nicely posted. Hutchinson just looking for the touch. Looked like he might have been going for the 20 as well. Doesn't quite get it, but at least keeps his shooter on. Carfiello again with an interesting catch. Now this is quite the situation, something you wouldn't typically see in these top matches. Normally there's one, maybe two discs on the board, but we've got a whopping four. And quite the messy situation too. Hutchinson is clogged up here with the blue discs all posted up. And oh, there he goes. Gets the posted 20. Now it's Carfiello's turn to deal with this mess. Looks like he'll just be pushing out that center disc. Now that is a jammed up situation. I'm not sure how Hutchinson is going to get an off here. There might be a touch 20, but he needs to be very careful because those back two discs are very close to the pegs, particularly that one that's kind of in between the three of them. If he tries to slam them, that could be a very unpredictable situation, which you typically try to avoid in any shot you take in Crokinole, unpredictability. Hutchinson gets the touch, very nice, and a nasty leave for Carfiello to deal with. That wouldn't necessarily be hidden, but... Oh, and he sneaks through that lane. Loses his shooter, but... Hutchinson now needs to find a way to get one of these discs off. He's up 220, but... Carfiello has 40 on the board as it is. With the hammer, so... Hutchinson is looking to do some cleanup here. Ops to come up the line, gets the off, and gets that other disc away from the post, giving Hutchinson some easier shots in his following turns. Carfiello pushes through his own. Hutchinson now, considering his options, I don't think there's a touch on that disc closest to the center. Looks like he's going for a hide here. Oh, that is gorgeous. With Carfiello's own discs blocking his path, that is near impossible to get to. 
He doesn't have much of an option. He he can't gutter it because Hutchinson's up two twenties, and if he gutters a shot, that will pretty much guarantee the round for Hutchinson. So he needs to try to go for that, but looks like he'll have to push through one of his own. In an extremely tight angle, too. If he messes up, he loses two discs and also loses. This is a great play from Hutchinson. If you're new to Crokinole, take notes. This is a masterclass play. Tons of defensive plays in these matches. And, yep, Carfiello, that was probably his best option. Unable to get it. Now Hutchinson peels and seals this round, bringing the score 7-5. to five. Hutchinson is one round away from being the Turtle Island champion. See that posted shot. You see this touch 20. Tons of very nice shots from Hutchinson. And finally, this hide that sealed the round. Great play. We're going now into what could be the final round of this match. Carfiello comes up short. Hutchinson needs to win this round to win. He cannot tie. That would only get him to eight points. But if he wins, that will be it. Carfiello going for a push. Doesn't quite get it. Almost bounces off a post. Hutchinson now debating his best option. He does have hammer. So he doesn't necessarily need the 20. But it might be there. Certainly better than not. Nice follow through. Now up in the 20s with the hammer, Hutchinson is in a great position. Carfiello keeping the pressure on, following with an open 20. Hutchinson to follow shoot, tons of pressure now. Players taking a bit more time with their shots. They know what this round means. Hutchinson wants to win and Carfiello wants to stay in for an opportunity to get caught up in points. Hutchinson comes up short. This could be Carfiello's opportunity to get back in this round. He needs this backboard 20 though. And he converts. Hutchinson can still keep the pressure on with an open 20. His advantage is not nearly as strong as it was before though. Down to our last Two shots to determine whether we will go on to a next round, and Carfiello comes up short. Hutchinson needs to make sure with this next shot that he does not set up Carfiello. Very nice. Middle of the laneway, a follow through isn't impossible. Carfiello goes for it, but a little to the left. If Hutchinson gets this disc off, he will be your 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole champion. He takes his time, preps his disc, wipes the board. It's an awkward shot. We've seen him do it before, though. And there you have it. Andrew Hutchinson is your 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole champion. And what an amazing match to win it from. Thank you for tuning in to this National Crokinole Association coverage. If you want to see more, here are some upcoming events. We have the Dallas Singles Crokinole Tournament happening August 17th. You can watch that coverage on the Tracy Boards channel. After that, you have the Crokinole World Cup, both singles and doubles, happening September 14th to 15th. Stay tuned to hear where you can watch coverage for that event. Finally, on September 18th, we have two National Crokinole Association tournaments, the Belleville Crokinole Challenge and the Brooklyn Crokinole Championship. You can watch the Belleville coverage yet again on Tracy Boards, and you can see the Brooklyn Crokinole Championship on the Brooklyn Crokinole Club YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this content, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay tuned in for more Crokinole action. Make it a great day.